There is one organ which causes high blood pressure, and it's not what you think. And there are specific exercises you can use to target and fix your blood pressure easily. No diet, lifestyle changes, or medication required. Check the link in the description below. But for now, today's question. The question, which blood pressure medicine has the least side effects? Answer by Rajinder Bala. It is like asking which is the completely useless organ in the body which can be exchanged with some other organ. What is important is understanding what causes high blood pressure and what medicines do to lower the blood pressure. High blood pressure is caused due to low resting metabolic rate. Low resting metabolic rate means that you are not getting enough energy for your vital organs. High blood pressure is countermeasure of the body to make sure your the supply of energy to your vital organs is maintained. So blood pressure medicines cut of energy supply to some organs. Different medicines cut off energy supply to different organs. So you have a trade off. Whatever organs you do not want to use, take that medicine. The long term reason of low resting metabolic rate is mineral imbalance. To correct mineral imbalance do hydration dehydration cycles and to increase resting metabolic rate do walking and rest routines as detailed on my blog. Hydration dehydration cycles will help in balancing every mineral and walking and rest routines will increase the RMR which will help in permanent cure of mineral imbalance in the long run. Read my blog for more details and, or watch my YouTube videos at Rajinder Bala. In brief hydration dehydration cycles is as given here. Day 1. Drink 150 milliliters water every hour from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Reduce meal size by 20%. No other fluid slash liquid. Day 2, 3. Drink 150 milliliters water one hour before each meal. Total fluid intake 450 milliliters in the day. Reduce meal size by 20%. Repeat for 23 weeks. To get best results increase resting metabolic rate, RMR, as well by doing the following. Walk for 5 minutes at easy pace within your home in the morning. Reduce the meal size by 20%. After walking rest for 15 minutes in bed. Repeat the above 3 times in the morning and 3 times at night before sleeping. The more you rest after walking it will be better. The recommendation of 10 minutes is keeping in view busy schedule of people. 30 minutes is ideal. For explanation of the above read my blog. Answer by Peter Clark. Perhaps because of my inability to answer your question, I assert that you have asked the wrong question. If you look up side effects, you will find a long list for any of them. While side effects are very important, they are not a good guide to selecting the best BP medicine for a particular person. When PPIs first came out I heard a speaker address the high cost of these drugs with an implied comparison to the earlier acid reducers, the H2 blockers. The most expensive drug is the one that does not work. For a BP medicine you want it to work, to be easy to take, to have tolerable side effects, to be affordable to have few drug interaction, to be free of the need for laboratory monitoring, and to provide benefits beyond just controlling blood pressure. Over the years research the guidance regarding BP medicine of choice has changed. Starting with an ACE inhibitor or ARB or with a dihydropyrodine calcium channel blocker is recommended with the next step bring to combine the two or to add a thiazide diuretic. Examples of these drug classes are lisinopril, luzartan, and lodipine and chlorothalidone. Any BP medicine can work too well dropping BP and causing dizziness. Most can cause erectile dysfunction. ACE inhibitors cause chronic cough in 10%, and due to effects on the kidneys lab monitoring is needed. Due to effects on the kidneys they are recommended for people with diabetes. Most can be taken once a day. ARBs are similar but without the cough, but they cost more. Calcium channel blockers may cause swelling of the legs, edema, but they may help treat rain nose, and they may help prevent migraines. Diuretics can help with edema, but they need lab monitoring. The guidelines for the where to start in paragraph 4 above are in part based on what works, but also on health consequences. The chief reasons for controlling BP are to prevent stroke and heart attack. Medicine that controls BP without red action and stroke and heart attack likely has not met its goal. Research on doxazosin, an alpha blocker, was stopped because it was triggering heart failure, but it is still a good choice if there are problems from an enlarged prostate. Perhaps you did not want all this, and I didn't even answer the question you asked. Number of side effects does not lead to selecting the right drug. See your family physician. Answer by Roger Kennard. Generalities are not that important. The question is which one has the least side effects on you. 
and that can be determined only by trial and error. I would say that there are sex differences, diuretics, water pills, are much better tolerated by women than by men. And the best of all, some people can control or at least lower their blood pressure by weight loss, exercise, and the Mediterranean slash mine diet.